No joke. Um, uh, we've been jamming out to a lot of um, sweet 90s R&B and like good rap music. Was that you that tweeted that? I totally saw that. I see all my tweets. I lurk a lot. And uh, I can't remember who it was. Hopefully, the, maybe the person's in this room. I don't know. But I'm somebody. I was tweeting about. What was the song? Oh yeah, hey, must be the money. You know that song? Great tune, great jam, rocking, total rocking jam. And uh, someone said I remember dancing to that when I was four. And I was like, that's the first time I felt wrinkly. But I was like, I was like, I don't know, last year when I just heard that song. Just kidding. Totally on the ball with those sweet rap songs. But um, yeah, it was felt weird. Anyways, a status, a Facebook status updated that today. Yeah, it's material. That was my distraction talk while I tuned my guitar. Do you think that was good? Spot on. So as I was saying, you know, you find a good song, and uh, no matter how you dress it up, it's gonna be a good song. You can't take that away from it. And that's why covers are great. I do a lot of covers. I just pick songs that really stand out and that have affected me in life. Can I have less guitar on the monitor, by the way? Yeah. Anyways, this next song is a band. It's a band that uh, has I grew up listening to a lot. I'm sure there are people that would feel the same way about my last comment as me saying this. But I grew up listening to Rancid a lot. And I would go see them at Warped Tour every year. And then Tim Armstrong remixed Ice, one of my songs. And it went on my ice pack that I put out last year. Um, and it was such a flattering thing to hear some other, an other artist that you respect so much cover your own song or remix it. And uh, so I decided to cover one of his. This is a great song. And it's on the EP.